Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Izola here with Flick Direct and I got my hands on the Maxine 4K UHD Steelbook. This is my review, so let's get this started. Set in 1980s Hollywood, Maxine Minx, an adult film star, really wants to make it big in the industry and she finally gets her big break. But unfortunately, there is a killer on the loose who is threatening and murdering Hollywood starlets and this could bring up some things that would bring up her dark past. Now, I do need to give a disclaimer. Um, this is actually the third movie in the trilogy and I was not aware of that. So, at first going in, I needed to know a little bit more information. So, I didn't have time to watch the first two. However, Google is your best friend sometimes, and I kind of got the synopsis of what was happening in the first two, uh, just to make sure that I wasn't going to miss anything while I was watching the movie. Written and directed by T. West, the film takes place in 1985, and like I said, in Hollywood, and it follows Maxine with three X's, because that's her stage name, uh, and it starts off with her auditioning for a really big, I'd probably call it like a B-rated horror movie. Meanwhile, you have the Night Stalker roaming around in the middle of the night, obviously, and targeting young actresses in Hollywood. Now, Maxine has been running from her past for years. And as these murders and violence escalates, two LAPD officers or detectives are starting to piece things together and see that maybe Maxine may have some information that could help them with finding the Night Stalker. Maxine has this classic 80s slasher vibe. So if you're a fan of those B-rated horror movies, I really think you're going to enjoy this movie, especially because it has pretty much two stories in it. You know, you're watching Maxine trying to, you know, become an actress and then also you throw in the Night Stalker, which if you don't know anything about the Night Stalker, there are a lot of documentaries out there. Definitely watch them. It's eerie and quite interesting. The cast is extremely talented and they bring a lot of energy to the film. I was especially impressed with Mia Goth because her delivery was spot on and really made you believe in her character. I really enjoyed Maxine. Uh, more than I expected. And honestly, you really don't need to see the first two movies. I didn't feel like I was missing anything, um, but I am one that likes to watch movies in chronological order. So I'll probably go back and watch the first two and then rewatch Maxine just so I can kind of get the full effect of the movies together. Oh yeah, and if you didn't get this by now, especially based off of her name, this is not for the kiddos. Um, there's a lot of gore, very little clothing, ingestion of illegal substances. I'm not quite sure what YouTube bans at this point. Um, so I'm trying to stay away from certain keywords that might make them angry. Overall, I give Maxine as a movie a four out of five. For its Ultra HD Blu-ray release, Maxine is actually finished on a 4K digital intermediate. As a period piece, this movie has a very specific color palette that they stick to. Again, it's, it's the 80s, so you're going to get a very grainy VHS type of look, which I personally enjoy because I grew up on a lot of 80s movies. They're great. But honestly, I thought that it actually complemented the natural UHD footage. You know, so when you're seeing the sunsets of California or, you know, the seedy dark alleyways of those places you shouldn't be in, they really complement each other and work well. You'll also notice that those up close sets, uh, you really see a lot of texture, sweat. I mean, they really thought about making this as believable as possible and the video really accentuates that. I would say my only minor complaint is probably the more darker filmed scenes, and that's just primarily because there wasn't enough contrast. The colors really pop in this movie, and you know in the 80s there was a lot of color. Um, so I really just wanted a little more contrast in the darker scenes, but that's just kind of being nitpicky. The film really works the way it was filmed. 
overall, I think, you know, the presentation was really well done, but it doesn't really meet the standards of other finished UHD uh, films that I've reviewed. But again, this is an 80s period piece, so it really doesn't deter or detract from what you're watching or the overall experience. So because of this, I'm giving the video a four out of five. And now on to audio. Now, of course, you know we've got that Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Um, only issue, and this would be for my friends across the pond, is that it only has the audio and subtitles in English and Spanish. So I apologize to all my other foreign language speaking friends. But don't worry, I'm sure eventually they will have more languages that they have uh, subtitled it to, maybe even dubbed. Now, as for the track itself, I thought it was going to be very aggressive due to the style of the movie, but it actually, it really wasn't. And that kind of disappointed me a little because when you're trying to make it as like that really crazy, tense, horror 80s movie, you really want that kind of over the top sound because that really is what gives you the extra jump scares. It just didn't really draw me to the action as much as I wanted it to. The storyline was good, so it that helped, but again, just the sounds, even the ambient sounds that are, are surrounding you, you just, you just need a little bit more for scary movies. Now, don't let this fool you. The sounds are still very crisp and clear and you can understand everybody, so you're not gonna miss out on any of you know the dialogue. It's just overall, I didn't feel fully engaged and that was primarily more in those jumpy kind of scenes. And because of this, I'm going to give the audio for Maxine a three and a half out of five. And now it's time for extras. The Steelbook is pretty nice and it really gives that 80s vibe. Uh, it has a picture of Maxine uh, with her Farrah Fawcett style hair. So it definitely fits the genre or time of the movie. You also get the digital copy, and then of course the 4K UHD and Blu-ray DVDs. As for the extras, you get a few of them, so that was really nice, and one of them is Belly of the Beast. And that really just gives you kind of the behind the scenes, but more details into how they made the film, and then also shows just how much the cast and crew really enjoyed making this movie. XXX Marsh the Spot gives you an explanation on the look or overall look of the film. And then it also has a few little uh, Hollywood goodies sprinkled in there. So be on the lookout for those. Hollywood Killer is about the makeup and the digital effects. And then you also have a Q&A with T. West, again, who is the director. Oh, and the trailers from A2 are in there as well. So... I mean, if you're already watching the movie, you probably don't have to go back and watch the trailers, but I always find it fun to see how they splice everything together. It's just, it's kind of fun. Once again, the extras kind of let me down a little bit. I did enjoy watching, you know, how they did the makeup and some of the behind the scenes, but I just wanted a little more. I know they film for a long time, even it's digital. So it's not like you have film that costs a lot more. So I was just kind of hoping that maybe they would throw in a few little extra goodies in there, but you know, we got what we got. And because of this, I'm giving the extras a three and a half out of five. Overall, I am giving the 4K UHD Steelbook for Maxine a 3.75 out of five. So solid B plus. I really think you guys will enjoy this again, especially if you are a fan of the 80 slasher genre. I definitely am. Again, I grew up on those. Um, and if you also like that grainy VHS type of, you know, recording, you'll enjoy it. The audio and the extras let me down a little bit, but I have to say that the storyline and the acting and even the makeup, clothing, set shots, that all kind of made up for it. So you really, in the long run, eh, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, but I'm just a stickler when it comes to those jump scares and I really want to feel it, right? So the 4K UHD Steelbook of Maxine is actually 
already available and you can get that online or at your local store. Again, I'm always pretty lazy, so I go and hop on you know, to the interwebs and go and grab my copies, uh, but you do have a lot of options. Again, if you are an 80s horror movie kind of fan like I am, you definitely wanna get your hands on one of these uh, steel books. It's just, it's a great addition to the library. I've said it a million times, I love steel books. And with that, this concludes my review of the 4K UHD Steelbook for Maxine. Please be sure to like and subscribe to all of our channels so you never miss out on any entertainment news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.